much healing is entirely possible. First at 10, a difficult Mother's Day for one local family after a crash killed a young father and injured his wife and one of two kids in the vehicle. Our Matt Whitcoe's caught up with their grandparents and has more on how everyone is doing tonight. Matt? Yeah, Jamie, this is completely heartbreaking time for them. The family says they were heading home after leaving a friend's house when they collided with another vehicle around 7 Saturday night. Now they're trying to come to terms after losing a person who always made them smile. Courtney's worried about everything. How is she going to explain to those babies why daddy's not coming home? A Greenville family heartbroken after this car crash at Sparta Avenue and Ball Creek Road Saturday. Police say a green Jeep was heading north when a Ford Escape pulled in front of them. Their car was hit almost full speed broadside on the driver's side. In that Escape, a family of four. 27-year-old Brandon Tatro died at the scene. His wife Courtney was hurt. Their two young kids, ages two years old and just one month old, were also in the car with the two-year-old suffering minor injuries. Both babies were in the back seat screaming and crying and Courtney was screaming to help Brandon. Charlie and Brenda Vandybile are Courtney's parents. They're at Spectrum Butterworth Hospital as the young mom, two-year-old Lincoln, and one-month-old Aria recover. Brandon's got his angel wings and he's looking down on us, but... We need healing. We need peace. Brandon and Courtney had been building a life in Greenville. Brenda says the two had been together for seven years and recently bought a home. They also welcomed home their one-month-old daughter who came earlier than expected. And God knew that she needed to be here a month early. Now, the family faces a hardship of explaining what happened to Brandon. And Lincoln was his daddy's sidekick. They, the two of them would just, as soon as daddy came home at night, Lincoln was his. I mean, he, they would just play for hours. Lightsabers. <laughs> yes, lightsabers and dinosaurs. <laughs> On Mother's Day, a symbol of true strength. The parents say despite possibly needing surgery, Courtney got out of her hospital bed to check on her children. Lincoln's going to have to be carried around because he's got a full, almost like a body cast oh. from the waist down on one leg and uh, halfway down on the other, plus a what, fractured elbow. The family faces a long road ahead. Brenda and Charlie say they plan to be there for them. We're trying to take as much burden off from her as we can. They say the couple had insurance. However, not sure if Brandon had life insurance. The family has set up a GoFundMe. We'll have that link attached to this article on fox17online.com. As for the two people in the other vehicle, they were hospitalized with serious injuries. The Kent County Sheriff's Office is continuing to investigate that crash. In studio, I'm Matt Whitcoast, Fox 17 News. All right.